Hello friends, I am Navni and I welcome you back to Target Study YouTube channel. I am sure you all must have dreamt of wearing military uniform at some point of time during your childhood. Some of you might have thought of wearing that olive green with shining stars on the soldiers. Some of you must have seen the flying machines above your head and thought of flying one sometime in your future. And I am sure many of you must have dreamt of ruling large oceans surrounding the country, riding on sea beasts that you must have seen on virtual media. And I am sure many of you must have dreamt of ruling the large oceans surrounding the country, riding on sea beasts that you must have seen on visual media. Yes, my dear friends, I am talking about India's proud defense forces and today I will let you know about one of these, that one is Indian Navy. In this video, I will try to explain various facts about Indian Navy, like what is the role and importance of Indian Navy, how to join Indian Navy, what are the eligibility conditions to join Indian Navy, what are the career prospects and job opportunities in Indian Navy, and what are the paychecks and salary of Indian Navy personals, and much more. So guys, let us start with the role and importance of Indian Navy. The role of the naval wing of Indian Armed Forces is to safeguard the country's waters from external aggression. Serving a country like India that is being surrounded by three oceans, namely the Arabian Sea in the west, Indian Ocean in the south and Bay of Bengal in the east and having a coastline of nearly 7,516.6 kilometers, touching nine important states including Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal and two Union territories, Daman and Diu and Pondicherry, makes it an all-important force of Indian Defence Service. From defeating threats from external aggressor to creating weaponry and other naval warfare infrastructure, the Indian Navy works above, on and under the sea to make a protected oceanic condition. Serving the nation with a sense of patriotism and an openness to sacrifices is not an easy task. It needs men of steel to handle this huge task of taming three leg seas around the country. And if you think that you have that physical and mental strength to spend months away from your family, go through days and months in vast seas and can put the interest of your nation before anything else, then you are very much a naval officer in you. If you really think that you have the passion in you to serve as a naval officer, then you would like to know the job opportunities in Indian Navy. Indian Navy offers excellent career opportunities in various branches to eligible young men and women. Like in executive branch, you can work in the field of general services, hydro, flying, observer, logistics, naval armament inspection, IT, ATC, law, sports and musician. In engineering branch, you can work in general services, submarine and architecture. In electrical branch, you can work in general services and submarine. In the education branch as educationist and in the medical branch as a doctor. As all these fields or branches need experts from different fields, thus the eligibility conditions to join in these fields do vary generally. So let us tell you about the eligibility conditions one by one and to start with, let's get started with executive branch. For general service, you need to be BE, BTEC in any discipline. For hydro services, again you need to be BE or BTEC again in any discipline. For flying, you should have BE, BTEC degree in any discipline with physics and maths in 12th standard, a candidate holding valid and current CPL issued by DGCA India will be preferred. For being an observer, you should have BE BTEC degree in any discipline with physics and maths in 12th standard. For being in logistic services, you should have BE BTEC in any discipline with first class or MBA with first class or BSc BCom BSc IT with first class and PG diploma in finance, logistics or supply chain management or material management or MCA, MSc, IT with first class. For works, BE, BTEC, Civil or B, Architecture. For NAV service, candidates should possess at least 60% marks in BE, BTEC from recognized university in any of the following streams. 
mechanical, civil, aeronautical, metallurgy and naval architecture. For IT services, the candidates must possess at least 60% marks in one of the following. BE BTEC, Computer Science, Computer Engineering or IT, BSc IT, MTech in Computer Science, MSc Computers and MCA. For ATC branch, candidate should possess BE BTech degree in any discipline with Physics and Maths in 12th standard and if you are interested in law services, then you should possess degree in law, qualifying them for enrollment as advocates under the Advocates Act 1961. For joining as a sports officer, you should have regular postgraduate degree or BE BTEC degree in any field. Candidates with Diploma in Sports Coaching from National Institute of Sports and MSc in Sports Coaching will be given priority for shortlisting. Besides this, the candidate should have participated in senior level national championships or games in disciplines like athletics, cross country, badminton, tennis, squash, football, handball, hockey, basketball, volleyball, cricket, swimming, diving, water polo, kabaddi, boxing, yachting, wing surfing, etc should have participated in senior national championship conducted by YAI and secured a minimum of fifth position in an Olympics class or should have attained a position amongst the, the top 50% of the fleet in a class of boat, windsurf completed at ISAF Youth Sailing World Championship, should have represented India at Asian Games or ISAF Youth Sailing World Championships and secured a medal in youth Olympic classes. For joining the music branch, you should have bachelor's degree from recognized university, relaxed for higher secondary applicants having exceptional professional ability in music. The music aspirant should have ability to play competently at least one military band musical instrument in addition to the piano forte should possess one of the following Diploma, Equivalent, LRAM, ARCM, ATCL or experience as a conductor of an orchestra, band or as a teacher of music is preferred. These were the eligibility conditions for joining various sections of executive branch. If you are interested to join engineering branch journal services, then you should possess at least 60% marks in BE, BTEC, from recognized university in one of the following streams Marine, Mechanical, Aeronautical, Production, Metallurgy, Control or any other allied discipline. Whereas for joining the submarine arm as a submarine engineer, you should possess at least 55% marks in BE, BTEC in any of the following streams that is Mechanical, Marine, Automotive, Mechtronics, Industrial and Production, Metallurgy, Aeronautical, Aerospace, BSM Marine Engineering, Instrumentation, Instrumentation and Control, Automation and Robotics, Industrial Engineering and Management and Production Engineering. Whereas for Naval Architect, you must possess at least 60% marks in BE BTEC degree from a recognized university in any of the following streams. Mechanical, Civil, Aeronautical, Metallurgy, Naval Architecture. If joining Electrical Branch Journal Services is your goal, then you should possess at least 60% marks in BE BTEC degree from recognized university in one of the following streams, and that is Electrical, Electronics, Telecommunication, or any other allied discipline. Whereas for submarine services of electrical branch, you should possess at least 55% marks in BE BTEC degree in any of the following streams that are Electrical, Electronics, Telecommunication, Control, Power Engineering, Power Electronics, Instrumentation, Electronics and Communication. If you are an educationist and you want to join Education Branch of Indian Navy, then you must possess BE BTEC with 60% marks in Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Computer Science Engineering, Geoscience, Informatics, Marine Engineering, Aeronautical Engineering, Production Engineering, Control Engineering, 
telecommunication engineering electronics engineering electronics and communication engineering electronics and instrumentation engineering etc master degree with minimum 60% marks in physics with mathematics and bsc mathematics with physics in bsc chemistry with physics in bsc computer application or computer science with physics or mathematics at graduation level metallurgy oceanography atmospheric science with physics and mathematics at graduation level or master's degree with minimum 55% marks in humanities english or history and for joining medical branch applicants must possess a medical qualification of an indian university or a foreign medical qualification recognized by medical council of india they must be registered with any of the state councils or equivalent registering authority next big question that comes to everybody's mind is how to join indian navy there are three basic ways to start a career in indian navy and that are as a commissioned officer through permanent or short service commission entry as a sailor and the third one is as a navy civilian i know most of you dream of becoming commissioned officer in indian navy so let me first tell you the ways to enter indian navy as commissioned officer to become a commissioned officer in various branches an aspiring candidate may have to go through some selection processes through various entry schemes depending upon the branch and service they want to join and the most widely used ways is through nda na exam This exam is held twice in a year usually in the month of April and September. You can take this exam after 12th class. For complete details about NDA NA exam like eligibility conditions, syllabus, pattern and fees etc, you can watch our video exclusively on NDA NA exam. If you have decided to join Indian Navy as a commissioned officer after your graduation, then you can go for combined defense services exam. This exam is also held twice in a year. We have already uploaded an exclusive video on CDS exam too. Please go through that video to know all about the important defense services exam. Besides these entrance exam route to Indian Navy, one can also opt for direct entry routes through special entry schemes. One such scheme is 10 plus 2 National Cadet Corps special entry scheme. This scheme allows cadets of NCC with C certificate to be selected directly through services selection board interviews. Another one is 10 plus 2 Bachelor of Technology entry scheme. The Navy directly selects 10 plus 2 qualifiers through the scheme based on the rank secured in the joint entrance examination main. Age limit to enter through these schemes is minimum of 16.5 years of age and maximum of 19 years. Candidate must be unmarried, male, and in addition, he must have secured 70% marks in each of the subjects of physics, chemistry, and mathematics, and 50% in English. University entry scheme is another way of reaching your dream destination. For this scheme, you must be between 20 to 23 years of age. You must have secured at least 60% marks in every semester up to the fifth semester of the engineering course. Pre-final year candidates, fifth semester of All India Council for Technical Education, approved four years engineering course can apply for recruitment through UES. Both unmarried male and female candidates can apply through the scheme. These all were the ways to join Indian Navy as commissioned officer. The Navy itself allows sailors to rise up to officer ranks through the commission worthy scheme. So if you want to join in the navy as sailor even then you can climb up to the ladder to reach at the top post for recruitment of the sailor the navy also conducts direct recruitment in some other technical and non technical aspects of which have prospects of rising to the rank of an officer in the lineup the selection of the candidates is based on the written test followed by personality test physical test and medical examination The applicant for the post of sailor should not be less than 17 or more than 20 years, be an Indian national and unmarried male. Besides, he should have passed class 12th or equivalent exam with subjects of physics, chemistry and mathematics. Minimum qualifying marks required for applying for the post of sailor Indian Navy may vary and at the same time would be promulgated in advertisement in newspapers and this website on and as required basis 
the candidate applying for post of sailor should be physically fit for enrollment into Indian Navy. Similarly, recruitment to the civil posts in Indian Navy is done from time to time with the help of entrance exams and direct recruitment process. So I can say there are ample of ways to enter Indian Navy at various positions depending upon your qualification and interest. Now I would like to tell you about the career prospects in Indian Navy. Once you join Indian Navy as a commissioned officer in the rank of sub-lieutenant, you can reach up to the rank of admiral by following the hierarchy and that is sub-lieutenant, lieutenant, lieutenant commander, commander, captain, commodore, air vice marshal, rear admiral, vice admiral and admiral. Whereas if you join Indian Navy as a sailor in the rank of seaman, you can go up to the rank of master chief petty officer first class following the path that is seaman, leading seaman, able seaman, petty officer, chief petty officer, master chief petty officer second class, master chief petty officer first class. Finally, you would like to know the pay scale and other remunerations for Indian Navy personals. Pay scale of Indian Navy commissioned officer varies according to their ranks. For sub-lieutenant, 56,100 to 177,500 to admiral, 250,000. These pay scales come with a lot of perks and other benefits. As far as pay scale of sailors is concerned, the sailors have been divided into two groups, viz. X and Y. Artificer apprentices fall under X group and the rest of the sailors in group Y. Pay scales in respect of sailors for group X range from apprentice 5200 to 20,200 to MCPO1 that is 9300 to 34,800. Besides these pay scales, X group sailors also get grade pay, military services, pay and X group pay according to their ranks. For sailors of Y group, pay scales range from seaman 2, 5200 to 20,200 to chief petty officer 9300 to 34,800. Along with these pay scales, their personals also get grade pay and military service pay and scores of other benefits and emoluments. So guys, I can ensure you that Indian Navy is one such career option in which you not only get good job opportunities but also an adventurous life with a touch of pride and patriotism. If you have it in you, then you can be a part of this great organization and serve your country. This is all from this video. I tried my best to cover all the aspects of Indian Navy and various career prospects in it. I will try to make videos on exclusive entry schemes in future too. I hope you like this video and if it is really so, please hit the like button for regular notifications. Please subscribe to Target Study YouTube channel. We will be back with some more videos. Till then, see you.